pull it from the bottom with the needle nose? Oh, you already got that. I'm, I'm just trying to get my phone so I can use the lighter. Yeah, because where it's sitting right now, actually, I could probably just pull it from right here. Maybe. Yeah, no. If you pop underneath it, uh, I'll hand you the needle nose and you can probably rip it right out from there. Then basically, it's off. All right. Yeah, it's just that last one. Do not lose that bitch. Holy fuck, those are like Today's gonna to be a little bit different of a vlog. Um, so I have one of my best friends here with a buddy of his who has a 2015 GTI that needs a water pump replacement. And that's what we're doing now. I'm kind of late to filming. We just drained the radiator, but we're still at the beginning of the job. So let's go inside. This is, this is the hose, right? Yes. Uh, do me a favor, put your hand on like the radiator and support it so it doesn't move. You know, in all honesty, give me that f***ing foot back. I'll take this f***ing piece off right here and just get it. Oh my god, do you have a heavier set of pliers, man? Like a real set? Just like a, a more grippy set? There we go. It's been sitting there a lot. Well, we need a needle nose for the last part. Oh, yeah, sure. All of that over a coupler for the lower radiator hose. I wasn't so fucking smart and I didn't know that oil and fucking <laughs> coolant equals <laughs> I wasn't so fucking smart. I would say that's goddamn oil is so fucking brown. Holy Good shit. Lord. Donor fucking tore you a new one, buddy. Well, I needed a shop vlog, so this is the perfect thing. Shut the fuck up, man. Don't do him dirty like that. No. <laughs> well, it's not his fault. Yeah, <laughs> it's the debris. It's like, he didn't do I'm, anything. I'm, making, I'm trying to make the car If better. anything, he's taking care of the car. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to find a tool and it's very dark. Oh, no, it's not it. No. Found it. Found it. Wee. Uh, like a small ratchet. So apparently, obviously, this is the correct thermostat housing, but this is not correct. Part. And he bought it in a kit, and this came with it. This definitely is not for a Mark 7. I thought it looked weird when I saw it, but I figured, I mean, I thought GTIs were the same as ours. So with Euro tuning sending us the wrong part, we kind of have to put things on hold. We've called around about the water pump, and Lakeland Volkswagen has it, but it's like 130 some odd dollars, which is not cool, because you can buy it online for like 50, 60 bucks, or hell, even from Euro tuning. So what we're gonna have to do is wait. Lewis came by, checked out his car too, so his radiator does have a leak. They weren't BSing him on that. So with that being said, he has to buy a new radiator as well. So we might as well just wait, order all the parts, hit up here next weekend, change the radiator, do the water pump, do the thermostat housing, flush all the coolant, put new coolant in, all that crap. And I think that's what we're gonna do. So now we're just kinda at a standstill. So what we ended up doing is since we can't do the water pump and the thermostat housing, we went ahead and just said, screw it. We're gonna have to contact Euro Tuning. He also has a leak in his radiator, so we're gonna go ahead and get him a new radiator as well. And then next weekend, we're gonna do some work on it. Now, what we are gonna do though is bore out his intake holes that are covered up right now, so that way when his intake comes in later on today, he can get as much air in as possible, and more air equals more performance. Duh. Same thing we did with mine, stock air box though. We're just having fun with doing all of that. And so how this works is that goes in right here, and that's what leads air into the air box or the intake, whichever. And if this is all blocked off like it is stock, you can't get air in, obviously. There's also an open part in the back, too, so he has to cover that up with some tape or something. But, you know, just bore it all out, let all the air in that you possibly can, and performance.
<laughs> oh god. That is rough, dude. Good lord. Melted right on. Yeah. Because you don't think that razor blade will just cut right through the plastic? Probably would. Tell you what, it feels really good to have more MQB platforms in here, though. Tornado Red GTI and then my Golf. Granted, we have Zach who has an S3, which is like an MQB. But English, it is an MQB, which is nice. But you know, having you know, like a golf platform in here, that's really nice. R32, bro. Yeah, R32. Well, yeah, we're gonna watch it today. You know what this is, man? Yeah, I know. No, I'm talking to Jeff. Oh, rabbit? Yep. No. Buddy, come, come to the back. Come to the back. R32 golf. So it's got the 3.2 liter motor in it. It's all-wheel drive, six-speed manual. It's a fucking beast, and it's on RSC 102s. Yeah. Yellow calipers. Clean, dude. How many of these did they make in 04? 750. Yep, and let's say maybe 50% of those are still on the road. The rest of them have just been trashed. We got done boring out the intake. These guys are headed out. Adios, amigos. God, I love the color of this paint, dude. But first things first, we gotta play the usual musical uh, guessing game of how the hell we're we gonna get out of here. Because it is easy as crap to get in my bay, it's just super hard to get out of my bay. So after Tyler and Jeffrey left on the red GTI, we went ahead and took Daniel's Black Magic R32 and backed it into the shop and went ahead and did a rinseless wash as some sort of a maintenance detail and then wiped it down with Beadmaker kind of just to make it nice because his drive to work is pretty lengthy and it definitely gets this thing dirtied up. If anyone's interested in the product I am using, it's O&R Optimum No Rinse. It's a really great rinseless wash that you can use at any given time as long as your vehicle isn't extremely dirty. And before this voiceover section ends, I have one question for you guys. If you could leave it down in the comments if possible would you want longer vlogs this one's like 10 12 minutes long or so and i definitely could do longer but it's all up to you guys i might try a longer one in the next one just to see how it works out but let me know what you think <laughs> So 
today is pretty much come and gone and we are done. It was kind of a fiasco trying to figure out everything with Jeff's GTI because the part Euro Tuning sent us was not the right part. And then on top of that, he needed his radiator, didn't have a radiator. So I'm sure Euro Tuning is really gonna help him out and then next weekend we will get this thing squared away. And you guys will probably see that in next Tuesday's shop vlog. But other than that, I've got the editing station all finished and done up. Here, let me show you guys. So here it is, you got an iMac mid-2011. For those who don't know, mid-2011 iMacs are really good because you can, you can update the software that's inside of it. So for example, we went ahead and did a massive RAM upgrade on this. You can also change things like the CPU, the graphics, all that stuff. Granted, you can only use so much, but it is a really good, cheaper alternative to having an editing station. Plus, this thing was just sitting around at my house doing nothing. And I think it was a good thing that we found some use of it. I just got my editing software on there and we are all good to go. So yeah, that brings us to, here, let me set you guys up. So that brings us to the end of this vlog. Guys, if you really like this video, please show me by leaving a like on it and go ahead and press subscribe if you wanna follow some detailing content, car shenanigans, as well as the journey of the shop. I am gonna be doing some reorganizing here in my detailing bay and kind of figuring everything else out with the editing station. I know on the other side of me with this wall, this is gonna be Hudson side once we get everything set up. So there's a lot of updating to do still in the shop to get some in, but we're taking it day by day. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, that way you know every single time I upload and follow us on the journey of getting this shop sorted out for the betterment of us. So yeah, as you can see, I am a total mess. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get to editing this video right here so you guys can see it. You're already watching it though. I still have yet to edit it because I'm behind. I gave you guys my word that I would be editing and uploading on every Tuesday and every Friday and I plan on sticking by that. So I need to get to work on here. Now that the editing station's all set up, yeah, I'm gonna get to work. I'll see you guys later.